I think reading the script for the first time, I was just thrilled. I think I think what they've managed to do at all stages is keep it surprising uh, without feeling forced. You know, I think that's a really hard balance to strike, and I think that. JJ and Chris really did a fantastic job about just keeping the surprises coming, but it all feeling part of the universe, you know. So um, I was thrilled when I read it, and uh, yeah, proper page turner. I think as soon as you meet the First Order in this one, it's very clear that that uh, Hux is not vying with Kylo Ren for supremacy anymore. So the dynamic has changed utterly because before they could both run to Dad, they could both run to Snoke and say he's misbehaved. And I, uh, that's gone now, you know, Kylo Ren is in charge. So um, he still makes fun of Hooks and Hooks is still at the end of some pretty stinging kind of jabs and stuff. But I think Kylo Ren is just not concerned with him anymore. You know, he's kept him there because it's easier than losing him. Uh, but I think he's he's uh, suffering silently, I think. I think objectively, Hux is evil. Because his actions, I mean, what defines you are your actions, and his actions are appalling. Despite the fact that some of them end up working out for the good side, his actions over the course of three films is just like, there's many, many, many people died because of what he did. So I don't think you can think of him as a, as a good person. And he did it all for personal glory and for... Uh, because he was scared of something that was different. So yeah, I think objectively he is about as bad as a person can be. But he thinks he does it for the right reasons, you know. But it doesn't make it right. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!